Hi friends, in this video I'm going to talk about how to create an AWS Lambda plus an API Gateway to trigger that Lambda using a serverless framework. In brief, what is serverless framework? Serverless framework is a free open source web framework written in Node.js. It helps me to create AWS services in the AWS platform. For example, if I want to create a Lambda plus API Gateway, I can use serverless framework to create these services from my machine. I would like to say these are the pre prerequisite. Please install the serverless framework in your machine if you want to follow this example. So please install this serverless framework first and then please configure your default profile in your machine if you have your AWS account. Using your account credentials, you can configure the serverless so that serverless will know when you say serverless deploy, it knows which account it has to, in which AWS account it has to create these AWS services or AWS Lambda. Okay, so these are the two pre prerequisite to follow up, to follow this demo. Okay, so let me show you a picture and explain you how to create uh, an AWS Lambda plus an API gateway using a serverless. For example, if, if you are a developer, you want to, you have a Mac machine and you have already installed the serverless framework. So using the serverless framework, you can execute commands to create the Lambda plus the API gateway in your AWS account, in the AWS cloud platform. So there is one specific configuration file which is called a serverless.yml file where I would say it's an instruction for the serverless tool. So you write all the instructions. That means yeah, I want to create a Lambda. I want to create an API gateway. What is the name? What is the environment? What is the region? So I'll be showing this YML file now. So these are the instructions which will be followed by serverless tool and it reads the instruction and then execute the commands in the AWS account. Okay. So let's go to the terminal and start executing. So so I, I'm in my terminal. I'm going to create a, a, a sample folder called as Lambda since we are going to create a Lambda. So I'm going to move to the Lambda folder and just create a, an NPM package. Since we are going to uh, use the Node.js as a runtime environment, I'm going to create a Node project, okay? So I'm just creating a sample project. If I, to ls you can see it shows the package.json okay it's an it's like a template for a node app node application so i'm going to create a node lambda in the aws account so then i'm going to create a, 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 no, a lambda template using the serverless command so i'm going to say create what is the template name? We can say AWS Node.js. So I'm, I'm, I'm telling to serverless, could you please create me a Node.js template in the current directory? Okay, let's see what are the files it creates. So when I say serverless create template AWS Node.js, it creates two files. One is an entry point to my Lambda and the instruction file I already showed you in the picture there is a serverless.yml file which contains the configuration or instruction to this framework I'm going to open this and show you how it looks like let's open this folder go to this sublime text and then so then I created this folder lambda now these are the two files which was created by the serverless create command so i created serverless create template i gave please create me and like lamb i want to create a lambda which can run on node.js okay so it gave me a template so that i can start working on it so what we are going to do is like i can change the name the name of the service and then I would like to uh, create a region. So EU West. 
one if you don't want to change the region you can leave this uh, you don't have to give the region but I want I would like to change the region name that's why I'm I'm changing it in my serverless.yml file so this this yml file it contains the instruction for the tool that's the, the serverless client tool so it reads all these steps and then deploy so this is our lambda lambda configuration so i would like to add events so how do i trigger my lambda i'm going to use an api gateway so this is how you create an api gateway so this means so i'm going to create a method my api will be like get time so this will be my path so it will give me an endpoint with slash hello and then the method type would be a simple get okay so using this api gateway i can invoke this lambda this is my core lambda function and i can connect with the api kit so that's all i need to do for this uh, demo so i've created a lambda and then i'm connecting with the api gateway let's go to this handle so we can change the code a little bit in uh, we are in society first lambda in yes just to see how exactly looks like so i'm going to remove this and save so when i when i when i test this lambda we should be able to see this text printed on our postman okay so now the changes are ready serverless i've, I've all already written the instructions for the serverless framework to deploy in the aws and i already configured in my Okay, so this change we have done. Let's go to the terminal. Now, so first step, I created a template and then I modified for the demo purpose, I modified a string and whatever required in the serverless.yml file. Then now I'm going to say to serverless framework, could you please deploy? So, okay, so the command is serverless deploy. Now it's creating this lambda in my account in my aws account and we are going to test it okay so it, it started creating it let it create meanwhile i can show you the picture what is happening now so we created in my mission my app mission i created a template node.js template using serverless then then i changed a little bit the configuration because i want to connect with the api gateway so I changed the serverless.yml file and then I said deploy serverless.deploy so serverless deploy then now what's happening it's connecting with my account AWS account and deploying the lambda now we will see how exactly this lambda looks like in the AWS account and how it's connected to the API gateway and the next last step is once my endpoint is ready I can hit from the postman from my laptop I launch the postman and then I'll hit the API gateway. It's like a REST endpoint, I would say. And API gateway in turn hit the, the lambda. Okay, let's see what happens in the terminal. Yes, it's already already deployed. It says like in the region, in this region, this lambda has been deployed. Let me hit and see quickly what is the response. So I'm going to click on this. You can see, hey, we are inside the first Lambda in AWS. So now what happened? Serverless did its job. It created an API gateway and connected a Lambda. I'm going to show you in the AWS account. So it created a Lambda here, an API gateway in the AWS account. And from my Postman, I hit the endpoint and I got the result properly. You can see the result here. Okay. Now let's go to the AWS account. So this is my AWS account. You can see here now uh, Ireland, that means EU based one region. So I'm going to refresh this. You can see the Lambda created. Okay. And the runtime is Node.js. So I'm going to click on this. You can see our code. See, it's connected to the API gateway, AWS. So you can see the 
the code hey we are inside the first lambda okay so it's connected with the api gateway if you want to see the api gateway i would like to show that as well api gateway so so you can see here how it's connected you can see the endpoint is hello gate and it's connected with this lambda our lambda okay so just to uh, overview so we created uh, a template and then we changed a little bit in the serverless.yml file and then the code the handler.js code and then we deployed and once the deployment is done in the terminal we saw the endpoint actually provided the endpoint here and we use this endpoint and hit the endpoint using the postman and we also saw the result from the from the uh, from the postman so this is what this is how you can create an aws lambda plus an api gateway using the serverless framework i would say you can try it out just pass the video whenever you want and then try it out on your own it will be really useful for your career if you like this video please click on the like button if you want to subscribe to my channel please subscribe because i i'm interested to create more technical videos to all my subscribers thank you for your time and all the best for your career thank you